Ukrainian and Greek cultural representatives have met Dutch and Belgian royals during an awards ceremony. The event was held at the prestigious Art Hall Bazaar in Brussels, Belgium. A drum roll sounded for the start of the presentation of the Princess Magritte Award for Culture. It was the seventh annual awarding of the prize, and significantly the first time representatives from countries in crisis had been selected. Our mission is to support culture's contribution to Europe. And that being said, it's Europe in its widest context possible. So we are not looking solely at the EU, we are looking beyond the EU into all of the countries that make up Europe. And Ukraine is one of them. One of the winners was the Ukrainian Visual Culture Research Center, one which analyzes politics and society through art. The renowned Kiev Mahila Academy had hosted the center and their Ukrainian body exhibition. This included nude artwork, which the creators said should be viewed in a social context. However, the university's president thought that the exhibition was inappropriate for the academy's younger students, though the center was first to move to a separate office in Kiev, where they have since expanded their cultural project. During Ukraine's revolution last year, they also hosted a project on Kiev's independence square, which compared the uprising in Ukraine to other political movements across the world. The situation in both countries is war in Europe. Maybe it's not always easy to discuss these problems, but nobody can close their eyes on what's happening. Through culture we can show what's really going on. The other winner was the Essence Biennale, which became a symbol of creativity of Greeks who struggle through times of corruption and economic difficulties. Its most recent edition, called Marketplace, was symbolically held in 2013 in the former Essence Stock Exchange building, which had stopped trading six years earlier. Their curators said that cultural differences should be solved through dialogue. It should be done in culture, it should be done in politics, it should be done in the economics. I mean, no single action would bring results. Uh, violence sat down at the moment in uh, Europe and people are uh, becoming more conservative in terms of the other. Dutch Princess Laurentin smiled when asked by Ukraine's TSN news agency whether there were political reasons for choosing Ukraine and Greece. She said art is a way to understand what's really happening. Now both organizations, they create space to discuss issues in a different way, that through culture you can put issues like solidarity, like tolerance, like freedom of speech, and actually visualize them. Culture is what we call a shared frame of reference, which is not always to say that you agree with each other, but that you at least start understanding why are we different. Both Ukraine and Greece are battling to remain at the forefront of Europe. And these are very difficult moments for, for our country, not just for art, for everything. From tomorrow, we will go back to a daily angst, how to survive. The sounding of the bell marked. An achievement that puts Ukraine and Greece in the cultural heart of Europe. The price included 25,000 euros for developing their cultural centers. Ksenia Machenko from Brussels for Ukraine Today.